Venus Volleyball Club does it again. After a one-year break, they are back with their 26th staging of the Venus International Invitational Tournament. See past champions Creole from New York, battle teams from Canada, the Bahamas, and host Jamaica. This Sunday's climax at the UTEC Courts in Kingston starts 12 noon, 1 p.m. EC time, with a men's third-place playoff, followed by the women's final, then the men's championship decider, 4 p.m. 5 EC time, live and exclusively on Sports Max. Volleyball action on the channel. It's Jamaica's longest running volleyball competition, the Venus Invitational. It's set to begin on Friday. Sportsmax has live coverage, as Lance Whitaker just told you. Sunday's a climactic final day. The action begins at noon in Jamaica, 1.30 p.m. Well, 1 p.m. Eastern in the Eastern Caribbean. I told you earlier that Lance will be on commentary. It's actually Donald Oliver who will be on commentary duties. We are being joined on set by a player from the Curacao national team, Quentin Anthony. Welcome to the program, sir. Thanks. Good, good, good. All right. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, how early you got involved <laughs> in volleyball and uh, some of the competitions that you've played in so far. Yes, I, I come from a volleyball family, so I started playing volleyball when I was eight years old. Now I'm 25 years old, mm -hmm. so I've been like six, uh, 16 or 70 years in, involved in this. In 2010, I made the youth Curacao national team. We won Caribbean championship. Then after that, we came to Junior CVC, which is Caribbean Volleyball Junior Championship. Mm -hmm. We won in Jamaica. We won the Junior Cold also. Mm -hmm. And then I reached the senior national team around 2013. Mm -hmm. So till now, I'm part of the national Curacao team. Yeah. Uh, the life of a uh, of, of volleyball player, many people are involved in football and track and field and cricket and basketball. Uh, as a volleyballer, is there same spectator interest around your sport? Do you get uh, that kind of following, that kind of interest as the players who play football and, and the other major sports get? Not really. Mm -hmm. In the past, people used to think that volleyball is a, is a female sport. <laughs> but when they come along at the gym and see how hard you can hit the ball and put it in the spectator area, then they see it's not a female sport. You, you, get, you get respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get some respect. And it's very difficult sport, like to understand it deeply. Mm -hmm. But people outside the sport see it like it's an easy sport. But they they don't know how much you need to focus and to understand the sport. Your training regime, Quentin, uh, give us an idea of what you do to be at optimum fitness for a sport that I'm watching from the stands. I think it's very demanding physically. You know, how do you yeah, stay fit? Yeah, it's very demanding physically because you need the strength, you need the flexibility because the game is going so fast that if you're not on time, you can't defend the ball because players are, are taller now jumping higher, jump serve is coming with more speed than back in the day, so you need to be fast and flexible. You need to be focused on P, tear before the ball gets there. So you need to save your court, keep the ball flying. Yeah. Quinton, the Venus International Tournament, which you are here for, is a tournament you have been a part of before. Yes. Um, what has been your experience with the tournament, and, and, and what are you expecting to happen for your team it, this weekend? It's a, it's a very, very cool tournament, high level. Um, players from abroad, players that are playing NCAA in the States. So it's a high level tournament. And I always play with international jammers, but this year I'm going to play with Creole, which is the defending champion. They always have strong, tall teams. Everybody in Caribbean want to beat Creole. So for me, it's going to be an exciting tournament this weekend. How do you feel about the gains that volleyball has made overall as a, as a regional sport? George tried to get from you earlier on about you know the sort of fulfillment that you get from a sport like volleyball and we recognize that sports like football and so on are, are a lot more popular in the in fact Curacao are now Caribbean football champions mm -hmm. for the first time <laughs> yeah so as a as I was a, proud of that <laughs> you you would have to be so as a sport 
volleyball is still below that level yes. of being the, 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 the attractive sport 40 that most years people ago, like yeah. 30 years ago, I hear that um, volleyball was, was like the second sport in Curacao, but it drops a lot, it drops a lot. But we try to get it back at that level. Region, volleyball is very... In Trinidad, Trinidad is one of the countries in Caribbean that really care to the point that they are entering the Norseka level, which is the level after when World. you win CVC. Mm -hmm. So it's Caribbean, then you go to Norseka, and then you go to the world top level. Mm -hmm. So our region, Trinidad is going very well. And the other countries just focus on trying to beat Trinidad, which is the Caribbean champion, to develop the, the whole region. Mm -hmm. how, how did you get involved with the Creole team that you're going to be <laughs> representing this, this weekend? How did that come about? Creole come to Venus every year. Every, every Venus tournament, Creole used to come. And they saw me play in International Jammers, which was another American team, not from New York. This one is from North Carolina. Yes. I used to play with them. So this year they asked me to play with them, to join them for this tournament. The, the Lance mentioned that the Curacao, of course, Caribbean Cup champions. Um, if, if, we to, if we were to go from last year as well, Lance, Curacao would be the reigning Caribbean street football champions because they won that competition the yeah, yeah. in, in St. Lucia. So yeah. street football and organized real football, uh, Curacao champions there. So I, I say that to say that I expect that many of the guys on the street football team and even the national football team, they are recognized in Curacao when they move around. Uh, is it but the same for you and your teammates, vo volleyballers? Not really, but the, the Curacao volleyball team, mm -hmm. Last year, we had only two players then plays professional. Oh. But the soccer team, it's just three players that play local. Yes. You understand? Yes, so there's a huge difference. As CL <laughs> may know, we are part of the Dutch Kingdom. So yes. this weekend, I think, 23, yeah. Friday and Monday, the team from a soccer team from South America is there to play against our team, so there will be good football game this weekend in Curacao. Mm -hmm. You, 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 would you say, well, based on your game, oh, tell us about your game. What kind of player are you and how many positions can you play on that <laughs> volleyball court? Because I know that versatility is very important to a top volleyball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's very good when you can play everywhere. Then you coach have more opportunity for you to help your team. Mm -hmm. So my position is an outside hitter. Mm -hmm. But everyone say I have good fingers, but my club in Curacao have a setter already for years. Yes. This man have only played setter. So I'm just playing outside hitter. When the first, when I was 16, I reached the senior club level championship in Curacao. I started as a liberal, so defender. Yes. I didn't have the experience to hit like I'm hitting now. Mm -hmm. So I just want to be on the court. So we didn't have a libero. So I asked to practice libero. So I prefer to be a defender than to sit at the bench. Yeah. Just to be involved <laughs> in the game. Of course. Yeah, but then after two years, they switched me to outside hitter and everybody was like, what? Is this the, the libero you had last year? Yeah. <laughs> he can hit like a beast. Yeah. You, you know, it's funny you mentioned libero, uh, Quentin. Uh, libero is one of the football positions. We, we're talking football, volleyball, drawing parallels. Mm -hmm. Libero is one of the football positions invented by the Germans that, oh. that talks about a defender that takes the ball out of defense into the midfield. Someone you trust to handle the ball, that's libero in football. Lothar Mateus. In, Lothar in, Mateus. In, in terms of volleyball, libero is a defense player. He, yeah. he only plays backwards. So. Yep. Yeah. Right. He ended the quarter in one, then he, he goes six and five. He can never go to four because yeah. four is um, left front. So it's out of the rule. Final question for you, Quentin. Mm. Would you consider yourself a star player? Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'm a star player. There you go. We believe you. We, we believe, believe you. you. Yes, yes. And we'll be coming to watch you on Sunday. Well, You're from right Friday right. to Sunday. Yes. And Creole will be champions again. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we're gonna, I'm gonna help them hold the gold medal. Excellent. From two years ago. Excellent. <laughs> Quentin Anthony, he's from Curacao, plays with the national team. He is a star and he'll be on show with the Creole team at the Venus Volleyball Invitational, which runs from Friday through to Sunday. Sportsmax will have live coverage of the big games on Sunday. Donald Oliver and the team will be carrying, anchoring that broadcast for you. It starts noon in Jamaica, 1 p.m. in the Eastern Caribbean. We take a break. We come back with more on the Sportsmax Zone. Venus Volleyball Club does it again. After a one-year break, they are back with their 26th staging of the Venus International Invitational Tournament. See past champions Creole from New York, battle teams from Canada, the Bahamas, and host Jamaica. This Sunday's climax at the Utah Courts in Kingston starts 12 noon, 1 p.m. EC time, with a men's third-place playoff, followed by the women's final, then the men's championship decider, 4 p.m. 5 EC time, live and exclusively on Sportsmax.